gingivitis or gum inflammation, and periodontitis or gum disease, also known as uh, leaky gum, is the most common oral health issue affecting more than 70% of our adult populations. People with elevated periodontal disease are twice at risk of becoming type 2 diabetes. In this video, I'm going to talk about how early stages of gingivitis or gum inflammation leads to periodontitis and eventually could lead the patient to become diabetes. I'm Dr. Maryam Horiat at Aria Dental, a biological, integrative, and cosmetic dental office in Orange County of California. The reality is that your mouth is not an isolated entity outside of your body. It doesn't have its own zip code. It is attached to the rest of the body. Therefore, any infections in the mouth activates your immune system that could negatively impact your general health. In fact, various scientific research shows that leaky gum and periodontitis can cause many major systemic diseases such as heart disease, miscarriage, strokes, diabetes, and many other immune diseases. Vice versa, many medical conditions could manifest as an oral health lesions. For example, certain malnutrition, hormonal imbalance, acid reflux, blood disorders, and many other immune diseases such as Crohn's disease, systemic lupus, Sjorgen disease, rheumatic arthritis, lichen planus, could cause oral lesions, ulcers in your mouth, gum inflammation, dry mouth, and even oral pain. So the link between oral health and general health is well known. Now the question is, how early seizure of gum disease or gum inflammation that's curable if it's treated properly on time could lead to type two diabetes? So when gingivitis happens, the mouth is frequently bombarded with many uh, microbes, mainly bacteria. However, since gingivitis is usually a silent disease and it doesn't cause pain, it doesn't alert the patient. So it's usually left untreated. Sometimes, some people are aware of their gingivitis, but they don't see gingivitis as a serious infectious disease, so they leave it untreated. So the load of bacteria in the mouth that's affecting the gum eventually penetrates deeper and causes destructions of bone below their gum and progress to irreversible, non-curable periodontitis or gum disease. So chronic infections and inflammation by gingivitis and periodontitis leads to activations of immune system and productions of pro-inflammatory mediators or chemicals called cytokines. Cytokines are the way immune system talk to each other. Production of these chemicals called cytokines may lead to the rest of our body cells modifications. For example, our body cells absorb less calcium and vitamin D. As a result, more bone loss, more gum destructions, and more collagen breakdown that makes the periodontal disease worse. In many cases, these cytokines may cause your body cells to become resistant to insulin, which means type 2 diabetes. When the diabetes happens, the most common complications of diabetes, which is um, poor healing, higher risk of infection, less uh, saliva formation happen, so which makes the periodontal disease worse, and then it makes it out of more out of control. As a result, gum disease gets worse, and then gum disease makes the diabetes worse, and diabetes makes the gum disease worse. So it's a vicious cycle. So what can we do to prevent further issues? The answer is that if you have minor gum bleeding or gum inflammation that's not getting better after two weeks of proper oral hygiene at home, even if you don't have pain, make sure you see a dentist and proper treatment is completed to halt and reverse your gingivitis before it progress to a non-reversible gum disease or periodontitis. In our holistic dental office, in many cases, we adjunct our conventional scaling with many advanced biological laser treatments and uh, natural ozone oxygen therapy 
to have fast recovery and profound healing process. If you want to know more about leaky gum and its impact on other medical conditions and autoimmune diseases, please subscribe below for more upcoming videos.